Hi guys, welcome to Urban Treats, where we show you easy recipes you can make at home. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this perfect little bread roll. You can make these as individual rolls, as a pull apart bread, and it's soft, buttery, and delicious with any meal. As always, the ingredients are in the description. Let's get started. Now the first step in making the perfect dinner roll dough is preparing the yeast. This is instant yeast, so instant yeast doesn't need any blooming, you can just mix it into the dough and get started and it works out fine 99% of the time. But if you're using dry active yeast, you might need to bloom it, or if you use fresh yeast, then make sure you follow the right process. Add the yeast and we add some milk, that's 220 ml of milk. And don't forget, as always, the ingredients are in the description and we have them in cups, ounces, and in grams so that everyone around the world can measure this easily. Okay, and we'll add in some salt. This is one teaspoon of salt. We add in sugar, that's one third a cup of sugar. If you don't want them to be that sweet, you can actually go with one fourth cup of sugar and it will turn out great. We'll give that a bit of a stir just to break up the yeast a little bit. And you can see that the instant yeast is already activated. You can already see it's starting to blow up and it's already forming some bubbles. It's really quick and it needs no blooming at all. Okay, set this aside. Now, we can add in our flour. I have three and a half cups of flour here. We'll make a little bit of a hole here in the middle. We we'll add in the oil. I have one sixth of a cup of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And I add extra virgin olive oil because it really enriches the flavor of the bread. It gives it this nice full flavor. And then I also have one sixth of a cup of just standard vegetable oil. We also have one egg. And keep in mind that all my ingredients are at room temperature. Because when we work with yeast, we wanted to keep things warm so that the yeast um, is allowed to activate and actually grow. Let's just put that in our mixer. And we let this knead for five to six minutes until you have a nice smooth and soft dough. The dough is ready and we're now going to let it proof. And for that, I'm going to prepare a small glass bowl. Let me just get that out here. There we go. We'll add a little bit of oil, just so that the dough doesn't stick. I have a little bit left here. Spread it all over. There you go. And we'll just fold this over so we have a nice round shape. Just fold it over your palm into itself. Twist off the bottom. Give it a bit of a shake like this. And now we set it in the bowl. I'm gonna cover this with cling film and I'm gonna let it rest for 30 minutes and I'll see you for the next step. The dough is ready proofed and we can now portion it and shape it. First off, this has doubled in size, so we're just going to punch out the air here a little bit. There you go. And we'll get this out of our bowl. You won't need any flour to work this because it's still a bit oily and it won't stick to the surface, to your working surface. Okay, now let's weigh the total amount of weight this thing here is. We have 990 grams. I've already done my calculation. It's about 77 to 78 grams for each portion, and that will make a nice shaped bread roll. Let's split this roughly first, and then we'll weigh the individual portions. Perfect, 80. 
and then we'll shape them. Okay, perfect. We have our individual portions and we're gonna first roughly shape them and then we're going to get them into a nice round shape. So for that, we're gonna start off by folding the dough over itself. I'm using my thumbs to push the, um, the dough out and I'm using my index finger and ring finger to fold it into itself. And that makes this nice round dome that I can then pinch off here on the bottom and I can give it a bit more of a roll between my hands which will round off the bottom as well and we'll just set it aside. Now we got the rough shapes ready and to be honest you could bake them just like this and they would look beautiful but we want them to be absolutely perfect round and we don't want this bottom little rose shape that we have. I'll show you how to do this. I also do this in my Austrian Kaisersemmel recipe. So if you want to see that, check out the link on the top. It's a traditional Austrian style bread and I grew up with this and it's really, it's really good. But um, it uses the same method in rolling the rolls. Now, here's what you do. You place it on your working surface. For this dough, you're not going to need any flour because if you add flour, it's just going to slip and it won't allow you to roll it properly. And what we do is we form this little claw with our hand and we slightly press down and apply pressure to the roll and just move your hand in a circular motion like this. Now this is going to shape the roll and it's going to be a bit flat first because you're pressing down but then you slowly release, 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 and you have a perfectly round bread roll. And this is ready for proof for one more time. So let's do that with the rest. We'll put them in a baking tray and then we'll proof them for another 15 to 20 minutes until they're ready to bake. rolls here. I have them on a baking tray, on a bit of baking paper, and they have plenty of space between each other, so they're going to turn into lovely uh, dinner rolls or burger buns, and they're going to be individual portions, perfectly fine. But we can also make pull-apart bread with the same recipes. How you do that? Instead of using a baking tray, just use a Pyrex dish, uh, a round one or a square one, whatever you have available, and just roll them, place them next to each other, and they will raise and then just stick together and become a beautiful pull-apart bread. And we are done. I've already preheated my oven to 165 degrees. That's approximately 335 Fahrenheit. And before we bake them, there's one last step we have to do, and that's glazing. Without the glazing, these buns don't turn nice and brown. They will just stay white. So what we are going to do is we'll just break an egg. There you go. And we'll just whisk that up. Now, if you want, you can add a little bit of water to this, but it's not necessary. Water makes the, um, the egg a little runnier and gives you a more even brown. But I've tried in many different ways and this works just the same. Okay, that's ready. And I'm just going to use my silicone brush and paint them all evenly. And these are ready for the oven. We're gonna bake these for 25 to 26 minutes until they're golden brown, and I'll see you then.
we are ready for the taste test. But before we do, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell button. But now it's time for the taste test. First of all, let's open a roll and let's see how they look on the inside. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. It smells absolutely great. And I'm taking the first bite. <laughs> Guys, you're gonna love these. They're sweet, they're soft, they're buttery. Absolutely delicious. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.